again and uh, welcome back to MHA 9's Fish Tanks. Uh, we're back again here in the fish barn. Uh, so we're going to take a look here at the clownfish larval setup. Uh, so let's go ahead here and I'll walk you through how it works. And then at the end of the video, uh, we'll show some footage on uh, how it's made. So uh, let's go ahead here and I'll walk you through it. All right, we're going to start from the bottom. Uh, so the bottom in here, we have a sump. This is just a plastic container that we have from Lowe's. Uh, so it's just one of that you can get at Home Depot as well. It's just the HDX uh, hard plastic container. Uh, then we have a bucket. And then we have a uh, basically a filter with some filter floss in it. I did take the filter floss out for the video. And then uh, we just have two drain pipes coming down from the uh, black tubs. And then from there, if we head up, now if we head up to the top, all right, and then we have basically uh, two John Guest fittings. And those John Guest fittings hook into this right here. And this just drips water into the system. Uh, so we have a little bit of filtration in here. Uh, I think one of the reasons I was losing some of the fry uh, is that the water was not being filtered very well. So that's really what's going on there. And then if you just look above here, uh, there's a standpipe in the middle. Uh, with an air stone and then uh, water slowly will drain through it uh, same here uh, this tank this tank right here and then finally at the top uh, we just have some LED floodlights that uh, make up the system so that is the overview of it so now let's go ahead and I will go through uh, exactly how we made it today we're going to take a look at constructing this system for raising clownfish larvae so the old system we just had with the air stones uh, with them just flat on the floor. So today we're going to do a new and improved version of the clownfish hatchery here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so now we are gonna work on the sump. So to build the sump, uh, we're going to use uh, just this plastic tub uh, that I've used in many of my sumps, uh, some half inch pipe. All right, this uh, small, uh, this small filter, uh, I'm not gonna use this fitting on it, I'll show you the fittings when I'm done, uh, but there's gonna be a, uh, two fittings like this, a half inch elbow, another half inch elbow, but threaded on one end half inch T uh, with a threaded end as well. All right, so we really just need two uh, things here for the uh, the drain. So we just need the uh, straight PVC for inside of the bucket. And uh, this is some spot flex uh, for the actual drain. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, set up. Okay, we uh, now have the uh, bottom drain set up here. And then if you go to the top, uh, we've got our, our uh, drains in here. So you got the, both the drains in there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead here and get some water in here and get this running. Well, I hope you guys enjoy uh, taking a look at this clownfish larval ring setup. Uh, there are some clownfish fry in here right now. Uh, so I do hope we have some success pretty soon with this. Uh, so I will keep you guys informed on the uh, progress of the clownfish larva themselves. But I did wanna take you guys on a look on how this was made. So uh, if you guys appreciate this content, please like, subscribe, and uh, share the content out. And as always, hit the notification bell. And I will see you on the next episode. Thank you again for watching. Okay, we're now getting a look at the snowflake clownfish that have been producing the eggs that I've been trying to raise for the last couple of batches. Uh, the female just went to the back and the uh, male is still sitting there in the front. I apologize a little bit for the glare on the glass. Uh, if you go right here, right